With the 1st of September marking the beginning of Tourism Month, yesterday at the Boardwalk Convention Centre, two new air routes between Port Elizabeth, Bloemfontein and East London were launched, emanating from the Nelson Mandela Bay airlift project. I, I must say that as a city we are very happy to be a part of this initiative. One, uh, the launch of the, these lines from PE to East London and also from PE to Bloemfontein. It means a lot from us because uh, it will save us time and it will save us uh, money. And uh, we are saying that uh, things will be much, much, much more better than, than before. Eastern Cape MEC for Finance, Economic Development, Environmental Affairs and Tourism, Lungis Mvoko said the two new routes would make the province more accessible for tourists. We are launching this, uh, this program uh, to actually invite people to visit the province because the tourism industry has had a bad time due to uh, the, the lockdown levels. Many have not been able to, to operate. Uh, they have not been able to market themselves in their, in their usual platforms. Um, and, and as a province, what we did, we contributed an amount of about 19 million rand. And part of that amount is to ensure that uh, they are able to market themselves digitally in other platforms. But also we've contributed uh, for them to be able to observe the COVID protocols. So uh, now is for us to invite people. Uh, one of the best things is the launch of this route. It's one of the best rooms because it will now connect not only Kabeha uh, and Bloemfontein, but will also connect East London and Bloemfontein. So it's going to be easy for people to travel between the two provinces. So it is just a bonus. So all, all we're doing now is to invite people to come into the Eastern Cape province. EDTA's Wandisile Makwabe weighed in on the themes the city will be focusing on for Tourism Month. The Tourism Month and the program that we have and the one that we launched today talks to a, you know, a, a, a four-week program where in the very first week we go straight to the, to the township, as I mentioned, for the program there that deals with the township tourism. Going to the townships, we've got products there. We collaborate with them to be engaging with the forums that are there, you know, talk to the assets that are found in the, in the, in the townships, talk to the, you know, the, 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 the experiences of the township. And so we'd have that as a, as a, as a launch as a launching pad because we are focused really on township tourism uh, because we understand that COVID-19 forces us to do things differently. The other themes include activities and attractions the city has to offer, the showcasing of our culture and heritage and the future of tourism of the Nelson Mandela Bay.